Hi everyone again, Frank DeMora with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. Today is March 29th of 2011. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I go on, I just want to pour out my heart to you and uh, hopefully that uh, the Holy Spirit will touch your heart like he has touched mine and you'll respond. Uh, as you know that when you come to my my site, at my prophecy site, you can download my book absolutely free. When you go to my site, you'll notice that I never charge anybody and you'll notice that I don't even ask anybody for anything. Is because I leave that up to the Holy Spirit. I figure that if the Lord knows that I'm doing a good work for Him, that He's going to go before me and help my ministry and provide the things that I need and so I don't have to worry about anything else except doing the work of the Lord Jesus Christ because as I speak out in faith that the Lord will take care of me, He does exactly that. Now there is a group, since I don't ask for anything, I don't have any problem with telling you things that are on my heart for other organizations that I see that are in need, that are dear to my heart, and that I can see fruit being... Uh, as a result of the ministry. And there's one that i like to, to mention today that I just visited again uh, in the area that where I live. I'm going to put this up. You'll see it at my website. It's a, a little, little form here and then it talks to you about Victory Outreach Christian Recovery Home. And I know these people and I know the pastor and I know the, the gentleman who runs the facility here uh, in this in this area and I've had a chance to meet many of the men who are living in the home and what it is is it's a home where these men bring in these these godly men bring in people who that have been uh, in trouble either with the law they've been addicts or in gangs or uh, different problems with life uh, they bring them into this home and they teach them about Jesus Christ and they nourish them and they grow in the word and there's there's an excess uh, or a success rate that is uh, seven out of ten people uh, are, are be recovering and they're it's really really doing the work of the Lord now I'm going to put this information at my website you'll be able to see it it has phone numbers addresses where you can call and ask questions and you'll see a brochure that I'm also going to put up at my website. And it talks about the Christian recovery homes. And one of which, that, like I said, in this area, I can personally testify that they are doing a great work here for these, these men in transforming lives. And so if the Lord pricks your heart and you really want to help, a ministry that is touching people, getting them off the streets, getting them out of, of the bottles and getting them off the drugs and the, the pills, please email and, and contact these people. I have the phone numbers and everything and you can you can get a, uh, a receipt for any donations that you get through this company uh, or through the church and uh, at least you'll know that God, your money, your, your hard-earned money that you want to give to the Lord Jesus Christ is going to be working uh, the way it should be out in the field for the betterment of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Now with that, let me go on to some news today that I want to share with you that it's already at my site. And there were, this has to do with the Psalm 83 war and it has to do with uh, the developments, what I believe are going to be the fireworks that will spark uh, and ignite the Psalm 83 war and then eventually the Ezekiel war and subsequently the entering into the seven year tribulation. Now there are some articles today, uh, if you, in, just in case this is your first time at my YouTube, Psalm 83 is a war that uh, we're told that the bordering nations around Israel are going to be attacking Israel in the last days. You'll see that in Psalm 83 uh, verse 4 and 5 for example it says that they will be coming down to counsel themselves together to wipe Israel out or that their name isn't mentioned anymore. And so we know that they're talking about wiping them off the face of the map. And it says that they're going to be coming down to counsel 
In other words, they're going to be coming down and they're going to be forming a plan to get rid of Israel. And there's a, an article that came out today that uh, I found that it was really interesting. And it shows you, as, as far as I'm concerned, it shows you the handwriting on the wall. And for example, when you go to my website, you'll see articles like this. If this is the first time at the YouTube, you'll see a link where you can cl click to the entire article, read it for yourself. But this one says, Fatah and Hamas set to hold April Unity talks in Cairo. Now, in case you don't know, uh, there is a chart that I'm going to have at my website when you go there, www.bibleprophecyman.com you'll see a, a, a list. I wrote the list that tells you exactly who these people are, what area, what nation they're from, so that you won't have any problem understanding what God has shown us from the Psalm 86 prophecy of that coming war. And so we do know in this article right away it talks about Cairo uh, right here. You see that talking about Cairo, these tar talks are going to be going to Cairo which is Egypt. Now, Egypt is one of the nations mentioned in that Psalm 83 war. Now, the Fatah and the Hamas are two organizations uh, along with the Palestinians, and these are the Phoenicians of the Old Testament, and the modern-day uh, West Bank and Gaza Strip where the Palestinians are living today. So we know exactly who they are. So when it says the Fatah and the Hamas, to set uh, to hold an uh, April these unity talks what they're talking about as you'll see in this article is bringing these factions who've been opposing each other together so that they can act as one unit and we know what their the goal is and the goal is to make sure that Israel is out of the picture and that they recapture 1967 borders and the East Jerusalem. They've been trying to do it through peace talks. They have failed. They've been stalled for over a year and a half. And now they're trying, the PLO are trying to go in to get a resolution passed with the UN to arbitrarily uh, form a state within Israel. Let me, let me read this. It says, advises to Abbas. Now Abbas is the Palestinian uh, leader says Palestinians need American money but if they use it as a way of pressuring us we are ready to relinquish that aid many of you don't know that the United States is supplying money to the Palestinians now I, I know that a lot of you are saying what the heck are they doing that for they're trying to get rid of Israel and we're supposed to be Israel's friends well sometimes the United States do things that are what they think that are best to their interest and obviously they don't know the word of the Lord because anybody who's trying to get rid of Israel and you align yourselves with these people Genesis 12 3 tells us that you're under the curse anybody who curses Israel will be cursed so let's go on it says Hamas and Fatah have agreed to renew to renew unity talks in Cairo next month to discuss ways of ending their conflict the decision follows a series of meetings between leaders of the Bahamas and the Fatah in the West Bank and Gaza Strip and Syria over the past few days. Again, Syria is also mentioned as a Syria from the Old Testament is modern day the Syrians. And we're told that these people along with these Palestinians and the Egyptians will mount up together in the last days to attack Israel. So don't think that when you're reading information like this that this is a coincidence that they're getting together to work out their problems so that they can be united. The united front will eventually come together and they will make their move into Israel at least attempt that. So this last weekend Palestinian Authority President Hamad Abbas met with several Hamas leaders in uh, Ramallah office including Abbas Hazi Dewik and Nassar uh, Eden Al Shayer, the movement's most high ranking representatives in the West Bank. Uh, it goes on to say he added that Abbas' recent initiative to visit to the Gaza Strip for talks with Hamas leaders would be postponed until the talks were concluded. Uh, they're going out, it says, on Monday, the Hamas and the Fatah officials who met in Damascus 
in the past few days have agreed to resume reconciliation talks in Egypt next month. So they went to Syria, now they're going to be going to Egypt. They're getting together and I can guarantee that the, the organizations, these groups, these political groups and these political leaders are coming together to bring an adhesiveness together with these nations to attack Israel. It says the, the Hamas Fatah talks will focus on Abbas's offer to travel to the Gaza Strip, the establishment of a new government and unified political leadership and, ho and holding presidential and primary elections, uh, one of the representatives said. He said discussions between the two sides in Syria had led in a positive and friendly atmosphere. And so you have the same exact nations in Psalm 83 coming together. They're going to solidify an agreement. They're going to take care of their problems. And we know who's ever placed in power from Psalm 83, we know that these people will be mounting up an attack. Now, is an attack coming? Well, what you're going to have to do is scroll down and to listen to part two for March of uh, 29th of 2011 where I get into Israel threatens unilateral steps if UN, UN recognizes Palestinian state. So scroll down and look for that and we'll continue on. Thank you.